Welcome Smackers, Kevin Smack here. How are you doing today? Time for the Fortnite settings you do not know about. Unless, of course, you are a pro or a guru. If you are and you do know all these settings tips, please comment down below that you are a guru settings ninja master. I'll go through and heart that comment for you once I see it. Let's go ahead and just get into it. And since it's been a little while, I want to go through and welcome you as I usually do. And that's with a smack. So welcome, everybody. <laughs> Let's just jump right into the settings. We're going to go over five settings you don't know about, starting with the audio. I have one over this one before, but most people haven't seen it. So I'm going to go through it again here. Sound FX volume. This setting is to hear the important things like chests, footprints, why do I always say footprints? Ah, footsteps. Sorry. <laughs> so this will help with hearing enemies, hearing building that someone's building remotely when they're trying to rush up on you, things like that. So sound effects is a very important setting to make sure you go through and turn up so you can hear the chest or someone coming after you. Setting number two is a great one if you play Fortnite when you're not supposed to. What are you talking about? Well, say you are trying to play and you don't want anyone to see and they come in the room. There's a one down here that says allow background audio. Basically, what you do is if you're playing a solo and your mom comes in the room or your teacher or your boss, whichever it is, you can go ahead and just minimize Fortnite and now go through and stop the sound from playing. Unfortunately, voice chat will still happen, so it's only really good for solos, but it's something that's pretty awesome. So you don't get caught, you don't get grounded, detention, or fire. So pretty important, pretty important tip there. You're going to want to pay attention to that. Uh, i got three more for you. The last one is the craziest. You definitely got to stay tuned for that. Number three, uh, we're going to go through and click on this second item here, and we are going to the bottom autumn sort consumables to the right this is a new feature they've recently added so if you want to go through and pick up bandages and you always move it to spot five now when you pick up bandages if spot five is open it's going to put it all the way on spot five for you it's going to save a few seconds here and there in gameplay and that will help you go through and get your kd up and crush those noobs so it's a good thing to do Go ahead and make sure you turn it on. I'm going to try it out. It's going to be a little new for me, but we're going to see how it goes. Another setting has been introduced recently, and it is right here. Sprint by default. It's awesome. You tired of holding the button down to sprint all the time? Turn this on and boom, you're off to the races. You don't have to worry about sprinting at all. I personally kept my shift button to crouch and and walk that way if i want to go through and be quiet i can hold that i know a lot of pros have already got rid of that key and just used it for the pyramid top for editing uh, or for building so you can go through and use that key for whatever you want but personally i still like to sneak up on people so i'm still using that key but it's awesome i'm running all the time i don't have to hold that button that's a lot less pain when you're playing hours and hours and hours so that's tip number four for you. Tip number five is along the same route. If you want to go through and save lots of issues, this is by far my favorite setting that I've ever discovered. You may even know this one, but it's pretty simple. Here it is. Tap to search or interact. That's it. You just turn that baby on. What does it do, you ask? Well, I will let you know. If you go up to a chest, you know how you hold E down and you hold E down and it's opening the chest and then you move and all of a sudden you have to open it again. You know how you're rezzing your teammate and you're at five seconds and then you move, uh, you let go of the button or something by mistake and then you got to res them again. It's like 10 seconds holding that button down sometimes can have some mistakes. So you turn this on, all you do is hit that button once and it will auto open that chest. It will auto res that person for you course you have to keep continuing to look at them and you can't move other than maybe a little bit to the left and a right but that will go through and open the chest and res your partner so you will have a lot less people angry at you 
for not bringing them back to life and a lot more chests you're opening in an awesome time. So now that you're opening chests quicker, you have more time to get more loot and be prepared to go through and take down those opponents. So guys, those are the top Fortnite settings that I think most people won't know. So I hope they helped you. If one of them or more of them helped you, what is the tip that you like the most out of this? Please do me a favor, comment down below. Let me know. Also, I still have a giveaway going. Check that in the description. To enter the giveaway, just comment down below and click that link. I want to thank everyone for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. As always, smack out. <laughs>